Uh, were you surprised at how well the rookies did last year? I'm thinking especially of Urs and Ramon, because five months before that Olympia, I never heard of these guys ever. I had no idea who they were. And then I, I don't know if you had been known of them either uh, prior to a few months before the Olympia. And then boom, they're both in the top five. Um, I mean, I guess surprise is a word you could use. I wasn't, I didn't know, like you, like you, I didn't know who they were really going in. I really keep in my own lane a lot lately and it keeps my head right in terms of like staying on track of what I need to do for myself. So I didn't even really know who they were coming in either, but like knowing them now, it doesn't surprise me at all. They're both great athletes and good people and work really hard and crazy genetics. And the beauty of classic physique is that anybody can kind of come in out of nowhere because the weight cap is a weight cap. So like, it's not like you're an open guy where it takes like 10 years to get to 300 pounds and it, you see yourself coming up. It's like, you could, you know, have a great off season. Like look at the change I did from 2019 to 2020. Mm -hmm. Someone does that. You go from amateur pro card to the Olympia in a year, which also how I got there so quick. Yeah. So it's a division that's exciting where like it could happen again this year. Someone yeah. could come out of nowhere and replace those two. They, they came out of nowhere last year. So I think it makes the division very exciting. It surprised me, but I don't think that's going to happen. They're both great athletes, and I know they've improved. I think they're going to be pushing it for a while. But it's just – I think it's something that makes this division exciting is that people can come out of nowhere. Yeah, I think – correct me if I'm wrong. Are there almost like 50 guys qualified for the Olympia now in your division? I heard that. Yeah, I just heard that somewhere, and I'm like, it's going to be a long night or day, whatever. Yeah, if you win a show, they have to let you in, I think. I don't think they can say, nah, you can't win. There's too many guys. You, you're not that good. You can't. They're gonna I have to let they're... everybody. They gotta let them all compete. So yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a long. I like the idea of putting a cap on that, yes. and I, I, I mean business side of things too. It, it costs a lot of money for them to fly people in to pay for their hotel. Like they pay for us the athletes to come. So if they're paying for five hundred people instead of a hundred, it's a lot more money for them to spend, which could be going back into promotion or paying the athletes even or anything. So I think, and it also makes it more exclusive and elite. You know, like if only 15 people get it to Olympia, it's more impressive and harder to do. Yeah.